Hey friends, John here from Proverbs 27 Nine Fragrances. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on a fragrance from the house of Joe Malone, Cypress and Grapevine. If you would, go ahead and like the video. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about um, this fragrance house and especially this fragrance. Uh, or any other fragrances from Joe Malone that I might need to check out. And uh, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, that you got the notifications turned on. That way you're notified every time we upload this sweet smell and fragrance related content. Alright, so this is my first fragrance from uh, the house of Joe Malone. It's Cypress and Grapevine Cologne Intense. And uh, so if you're not familiar with Joe Malone, it's an Estee Lauder company now, but it was started by a British um, perfumist named Joe Malone, lady, uh, that sold the company around 2010 or something like that. Um, and then she started another company since then called Joe Loves, where she does new fragrances. But um, I've smelled, you know, some of these uh, fragrances. I've never found one that I wanted to really grab, uh, but my youngest son is working at Dillard's and um, he checked this one out one day. It's like, hey, you need to smell this. I did and I really, really liked it. So uh, we'll kind of go over and show you the presentation here. Um, it's got this front sleeve on it that it's got the name of the fragrance in the house and the size and concentration on the front. Got uh, the product information on the back as far as the notes and things of that nature. Um, then just your barcode and everything on the bottom. This is a sleeve again. Um, it's just a, a lidded box. Nice, got kind of a linen, you know, a linen uh, texture to it. Cream colored with I guess it's black. I'll, I'll pull my glasses off. I know it's probably causing a glare. I've got a style on my left eye. Um, then just some little info on the back. Again, just box. It's the bottle is pressed into uh, just a little cardboard insert there. Past that just an empty box okay so nice you know i'd say it's it's nice i, I like the box um joe malone is a niche house they don't design any clothing or sunglasses or anything like that and again they're owned by estee lauder so they're owned by a very uh large company so here is the bottle kind of got an olive brownish olive tint to it. I don't know if that's just purely the, no, it, it's it's the color of the glass and it is kind of a fingerprint magnet here. Um, thin metal cap, um, plastic field, doesn't click and it it's snug right now, but I know from trying the ones in Dillard's that these caps can get loose so um, you want to be careful of that just again got the name of the fragrance on the bottom there um, batch code and information on the on the bottom nothing on the back or sides no signature or anything on the atomizer let's show you the atomizer it's uh, an average atomizer so why did I buy this why was this my first one it's felt it it smells fantastic in the opening um, the notes that are listed this the name of the fragrance is Cypress and Grapevine and Joe Malone gives you very little notes um, top note Cypress heart note Grapevine base note moss um, so this is a very woody fragrance. Um, it reminds me of some things I'll talk about in a little bit, um, but it is a very woody fragrance. It, this is a lavender-based fragrance, even though it's not mentioned here. It is a 
has a lot of lavender in it, so I like it. That's one of the reasons why I like it so much. Um, I would say, I would say, I would describe it as a dry, woody, slightly spicy. It has a clean nature to it, a sparkly and broxen type nature, but it also has kind of a dark, um, resinous nature to it. So the opening of it is very unique at the same time, kind of sim similar to other things. It's just, it struck me and I really liked it. And um, I would not have paid, I, I got it from Dillard's, I would not have paid retail price for it. My son got a big discount. They were having a big perf uh, perfume sale and I wound up getting it for about 50% off. Um, but you can't really get this particular fragrance yet heavily discounted that I've been able to find. So, um, you know, Joe Malone's fragrances, to me, they position themselves as a high-end, they, they compete with the high-end designers. They don't, they don't compete with the high-end niche. You would never compare this to a Raja, compare it to even probably a, maybe right under like PDM, you know, um, you know, to me, they're trying to smell a lot like Tom Ford, you know, they, they kind of put themselves in that, uh, market. And that's where I see them anyways, higher end design, uh, designer or lower end niche. That's kind of where they're competing. And that's kind of where quality wise they're at as well. Um, it opens up with a lot loud and with a lot of projection. Uh, I've got a dry down on my left hand. I sprayed it. It's the end of my work day. It's been on my hand about eight hours and I can barely smell it. So performance is, is where you're going to miss out, but I'm jumping way ahead. What's it smell like? It, it smells like if you took, and I'm going to say this, a, a fragrance that you're not going to want. Why would you buy something like this? It's in the Dior Sauvage family or style of fragrances. Now it doesn't smell like Sauvage to me, but I'll tell you what it does smell like. It smells like, like a higher end version of Prada Carbon which is a fragrance that I love. Uh, the one it smells the most like to me is a Toomey fragrance called Kinetic GMT. Um, I think it smells a lot like this fragrance, um, but still very, very different. You know, these are all fragrances that are in that Sauvage ballpark. It's like if you took the good qualities of Sauvage, you know, the sparkly, um, peppery, you know, um, dry, woody, clean, but, you know, you, you, it's not an overload of black pepper like you get in Sauvage, but it is kind of peppery, kind of spicy. There's some other types of, you know, again, it didn't list many notes. There's some some real unique spices in here, whether it's nutmeg or cardamom, it's not a cardamom bomb like, you know, some fragrances are, but there's some things going on here. Um, it, so it's heavy lavender, kind of like carbon. Uh, there's, there's definitely a lot of ambroxan in it. And, and I like ambroxan fragrances when they're done right. I don't like them to smell like a um, tin metal. And this doesn't come across like tin metal. It just has this kind of sparkly, uh, effervescent, um, a little zingy, gingery, little peppery vibe to it. The cypress really stands out. It's again, it's a dry, woody fragrance, very masculine. It also it reminds me of of like a little bit of Prada Cardin, a little bit of Tumi Kinetic GMT, a little bit of Bottega Veneta Porhom Parfum with that real intense, you know. Um, crisp, dry, woody nature to it. Uh, there's some vetiver, I would say, in here. 
but there's also this kind of dark resinous quality, kind of like Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum. There's this kind of, I don't know if it's like an Elemy or frankincense, but there is a nice round um, smooth bottom that, that the uh, laid on top of that dry woody vetiver, cypress, cedar, you know, kind of base that I think really makes it unique and intriguing. Again, the opening is fantastic. The dry down is good. It just it f f is very fleeting. It goes away. Uh, you're going to get about, you're going to get good projection for about two hours. Then after that, it's going to sit close to the skin and it's, it's basically going to be about a six hour fragrance. And so that's the problem with with this fragrance, especially if you was to buy it at retail, uh, this fragrance for a 3.4 100 ml retails for over $200. Um, it's not worth that price point, but if you can pick it up, uh, and you know, I've noticed other Joe Malone fragrances you can get between, uh, you know, under $100. For under $100, I would say it's a good, uh, a good fragrance to, to own. You know, if you were looking for a clean office style fragrance, this is not going to blow anybody's socks off. I have gotten complimented on it since I got, excuse me, got it the other day. Um, uh, but this isn't, you know, in the neighborhood of uniqueness like a Hasavad or like, you know, some really nice uh, Parfums de Marley Herod or something like that. But one of the most complimented fragrances that I wear, I've gotten more compliments on it than anything Aventus. In fact, when I wear Aventus, I rarely get complimented on it. And I'm not talking about, you know, the clones. I'm talking about the real thing. I don't know where my bottle is, but um, but the one of the colognes that I've got the most compliments over is Dior Sauvage. I, my wife loves it. I wear it a lot of times when I go out with her on a date or something because because I want you know her to like what I'm wearing. It is a little boring and I used to love it a lot more than I do now and I I don't wear it nearly as much. Usually now what I'll do is wear something adjacent to it so that I know she's still going to like it but I'm going to like it as well. You know uh, Connecticut, it's uh, almost got like a cherry sauvage nature to it, where carbon almost has a, you know, this real lavender bomb nature to it. This one I would say as well, loads of lavender, but also this, there's this grapevine um, kind of feeling smell to it. It's just real unique. So if this is cherry sauvage this is grape sauvage that's how i would describe it uh, a lot of lavender clean very easy workplace fragrance okay so that's my thoughts on joe malone uh, cypress and grapevine cologne intense let me know what you think about it i would suggest that if you can get it for under a hundred dollars and you like any of the other things or if you're looking for a sauvage replacement i would suggest it for that I'm going to do a Sauvage replacement video and, and go over, you know, five or ten fragrances that smell similar to Sauvage but um, are a lot more interesting and would make good alternatives to your Sauvage. So let me know what you think and hey, give me suggestions for that video as well. Like, subscribe, do all those things. Till we see you down the road, I say God bless. Frag on, frag fam.